good morning and it's saturday morning and today we bring you our audi r8 plus in our collection since new 2014 model last of the phase one now the plus models generally have everything on them that's what audi do and they give it more power and uh, make it lighter this is no exception 550 bhp now i think the standard ones v10s are 530 uh due to the <coughs> carbon fiber excuse the cough it is lighter and it has hosts and hosts of um stuff on there which is not around or wasn't around on the standard one or was an option all led lights look at those how nice ceramic disc brakes the size of those is huge at 22,000 miles it uh, hasn't worn in at all and guess what there's no brake dust v10 badge very nice little touch carbon fiber carbon fiber look at that lightweight and um, with a I think visually these are so nice now especially the phase one if you get a nice one and uh, with the later one being a little bit bigger these is like the old 911s aren't they they're smaller this one has a again carbon diffuser it has an aerofoil which comes up at I think 67 miles per hour oval exhaust tips although the exhaust inside are not there they you've got twin it has got active valve as well in there so when you press the sport button it makes a you know gets noisier and the gearbox is much more slick oh and it's got s-tronic which is a double clutch gearbox not like the r-tronic which was horrible right right so let's open up the engine shall we so we put the key in here boring key ignition there's the button Turn the ignition off, pull that out, and then let's go to the engine. There you go, what a gem. Same sort of engine, or same engine I would say is in the Gallardo, probably a little detuned, but visually what a treat. That's why it's got lights on the side, you see it? And look at that, so you can see it, beautiful. So all in all, if this was a Ferrari, God, people will go mental over it. But I think R8s are getting a, a lot of following now. Uh, so inside, I like the standard dials, not the later ones with all the electronic gimmickry, more to go wrong. This one we spec'd up with these seats, these are the standard seats, we didn't want those sport um, special racing seats, you know the ones, they look good, but not as comfortable. Um, what else can we tell you, Bang & Olsen we did, and but otherwise it's a really nice place to be in, it's got climate control. Um, navig navigation system which is okay it works fine and it seems to be you know it does the job it's not like the modern stuff uh, what else right so we'll look at the outside up at the front let's have a look at the front let's go at the front open up there's the battery we we'll normally put it on trickle charge and to replace that you've got to take all of that off oh my god we'll do a video of that one day but it's a big job let's close that so there you have it our R8 Plus, a nice treat for you guys on a Saturday morning. Now, if you want one, and if you really want one for an investment, I think the manual one is the one to go for. They don't make these anymore. And the kids who were looking at these when they were in their 15 and 20 year old will now be 30 year old soon, and they will be able to afford them. So the prices are gonna go up. 